Hi guys, this is Dr. Habib. I had a very interesting question about how IV NAD could be good for you at slowing down the aging process, but could it also stimulate cancer growth? Well, it's not just NAD. This question comes up often when you're giving IV vitamin C or, or other antioxidants. Are you feeding the cancer? Well, I don't know that there's an easy answer to this or that there is a defined answer because there's so many variables, but I'll tell you one thing that cancer is a normal phenomenon. We call it microscopic cancer from when you are a young person, middle-aged, old. But as you get older, the defenses start to go down and then the risks of mutations go up. So what is it about aging that allows cancer to start and grow? It's those defenses are in the form of methylation. It, those defenses are when the body can reduce inflammation. So in other words, there are multiple layers of protection. And as you get older, those layers start to wear down. And sometimes prematurely for people who don't sleep, eat badly, don't do exercise, put in uh, you know, chemicals, coloring, additives, preservatives. So one of those parameters is say, the telomere length. As you get older, the length gets shorter. So you can measure that and see if you're prematurely aging. So just like the telomere, there are other metrics out there to see what are the lines of defenses and how far are they being breached? Because after you breach those, then the likelihood of mutations go up. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a double-edged sword that, you know, if you don't have the cancer, are you preventing it? And if you have the cancer, uh, are you promoting it? So in that situation, I try to tell people, look, sometimes the best testing out there for diagnosing cancer is not good. So by the time you've done a mammogram and you found an abnormality, billions of cancer cells are already there. If you've got a CAT scan in the lung, should we say lung cancer, billions of cells. So, you know, again, there are new technologies out there that looks at early stages of ca ca uh, cancer development when there are abnormal methylation patterns called hypermethylation, and those get deposited or shed in the bloodstream, which can be captured. So, you know, it's good to get a very good physical to look at cancer at the very early stage. If you don't have it, look at all the metrics that protect you from having cancer. And then you can engage whether it's on IV NAD or IV vitamin C, whatever therapies, it's you will have the reassurance of a sort of a, a good supervised medical program.